Hey everyone, my name is Seth Smock and I am the sales trainer here at ENS Security and today we're going to be taking a look at a new Diamond Line Solar PTZ. There are always requests for situations where you can't run cable to power the camera or when you can't send data back via cable as well. Well, this PTZ covers that solution. Since power can come from the solar panel and the data can be sent through 4G communication using a SIM card. And there's no loss in features when using this solar camera as well. This PTZ has some advanced features while still being solar. We will also be discussing the solar panel and battery that are sold separately from this PTZ. However, it is recommended to purchase all three of these units together. We do sell them separately. Now, let's first dive into the key specs on the actual solar PTZ itself. The PTZ is 4 megapixel with 32 times optical zoom, making this PTZ have a clear and vivid image at long range. It also does support starlight and an IR distance of 492 feet. There is also support for auto tracking, perimeter protection, face detection, and standard VCA features are supported as well. And there is sound and light alarm for active deterrence support. And my favorite little feature of it, it does support SND 3.0, which can help reduce false alarms and improve accuracy. Now, like I said earlier as well, this camera does support 4G communication when using a SIM card, and we do recommend Verizon for that, but we'll talk about that a little bit more later. This camera does support low power consumption, uh, which basically will extend the lifetime of which this camera can view in case of low light situations. It does support also a built-in SD card, so you can store footage locally on the camera, or you can even stream it back to the recorder as well. It's your choice. This unit can be used as a standalone unit requiring no NVR, like I said, or can send it back to the NVR. And the best part of this unit is there is no cables required. It stands alone on itself and there's not gonna be a bunch of cables around and running long distance cable runs. Now, jumping back over to the SIM card, like I said earlier, we do suggest using Verizon for the carrier. You can technically use other carriers. However, due to the compatibility issues and the ease of setup, Verizon is best for this unit. When setting up the SIM card with the camera, make sure to follow the information provided to you by the carrier, including the APN value, um, and also for the username and password, contact the carrier to follow the prompts. And during our testing, the username was the phone number associated with the SIM card, just to give you guys a little bit of information on the setup part. Now, let's talk about the solar panel and the battery. As you can see, this is a pretty sizable unit, measuring at nearly 38 inches in width. The solar panel is sold separately and is 125 watts that consists of an aluminum alloy frame and a tempered glass panel. It works well in low light situations as well. Now we're actually looking at the back of the solar panel now. Um, and as you see on the back of the solar panel is actually where you install the lithium battery, which is this unit right here. With this unit, it is sold separately, the lithium battery, but estimates show that on a full charge it can support the camera for up to two days of full-time recording if there is zero light to recharge this battery again now let's talk about a common application that you can actually see these diamond line solar ptz's installed in and the first one being agriculture or a farm or anywhere where you have a large area of land that's open maybe 50 acres 75 acres 100 acres where it's going to be very hard to cover every single you know location by running cable if you're trying to cover that entire land you're gonna have to run you know thousands and thousands of feet of cable thousands of feet of you know trenching in the dirt it's a real pain with this thing since it can have a solar panel and it can send data either store it locally here on the sd card or send it back to an nvr somewhere you are covered and this thing can really reduce the amount of headaches that you can have when in terms of trenching cable and doing the installation process as well now another common application that you can see this camera at is actually a large or even medium sized distribution center. You know, I've gone to these types of distribution centers where there's maybe 20 or 30 truck bays for you to unload or load, you know, semi trucks in. And common thing that you see is somebody having to put like 20 cameras on one side of the building and not being able to install them on the other side of the parking lot or on the other side because there's no way to run power. There's no way to, you know, send data back to the facility or to the NVR in, in site. So this camera can cover that. Instead of having to do all those cameras and not be able to get the best angle possible, you can use this camera, 
put it on you know one side of the parking lot on a pole another side on the parking lot on a pole or directly center and the fact that it's a ptz you can always customize it move around and be able to set up auto tracking to follow people especially during you know the night when the facility might be closed and you have you know a ton of inventory worth a lot of money so it's a very good way to protect that you know merchandise Another application that you can see this camera is at, and something that you actually see probably on a day-to-day -day basis, is those easy-to-move solar camera little carts or trailers. Now, this is a very common thing to see, and especially inside of like large retail parking lots like Walmarts, I've seen these, Home Depots, Lowe's. Uh, this is a very common thing to see. Now, what's really cool about this one, and this camera specifically, is you can use those on those mobile, mobile solutions, uh, on those little carts or trailers, and you can set up the active deterrent feature, the you know strobe light, that siren. You can also set up SMD uh, to you know be on during the nighttime from like midnight to 5 a.m. when that store's not open because you know if somebody's in that maybe parking lot at that time, they might not be doing something good. So you can set this up in all these features that it supports with you know an endless amount. And the fact that it has that 32 times optical zoom, you're able to capture that full parking lot. To wrap this up here, this Diamond Line Solar PTZ is something that can be applied in a lot of scenarios, you know, and something that you probably see the integration of. And when you go around your day to day life, you're starting to see more and more solar cameras. And this one takes the edge and beats out a lot of competition out there due to the fact that it's a PTZ that sports active deterrence, SMD, VCA features, 32 times optical zoom with a four megapixel lens. This is something that is new to the market. There's not a lot of solar cameras out there that do the features this one does. So to learn more or get this picked up today, make sure to give your ENSLs rep a call.